2013, 13 years we've been killing the fucking rap battle scene. Back in Bristol again, lockdown's over, it's time to fucking party. We're here in the attic, everyone make some noise, let's go! <laughs> Hating suck a fat dick, we're here in the building. 150 sold out, let's get it popping. It's one of my favourite cities in the whole of the UK. We had to bring it back here. First ever in 13 years, birthday event had to be done. I'm here with my boy crazy every time, you know, always representing. Let's get into battle number one of the day. MC on my left hand side, battle number one. We got Just Trev, make some noise! Yeah. Just Trev, professional yoga turn rapper. Let's fucking go, man. To the right hand side. We have four of me from Word Life and Burst Minor Records, make some noise! Four me, I'll suck your mum so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the slogan? Is that the slogan? I hate that. <laughs> Alright, All right. All right. I know, really. it was. It's the last event. Alright, who's you first, Jed? Yeah? Alright, don't flop 13, we're here at the Attic Bar, Bristol, let's go, Trev. Not to be spiteful, but that match against Tidal was an absolute eyeful. Because how you stood beside that man and still the ugliest guy in that clash. Because <laughs> you two sad guys rapping looked exactly like extras from the Hills Have Eyes casting. Because <laughs> you want to know how I know this dude's undateable? Because he applied for the new undateables. <laughs> and they said, sorry! You're too undateable. <laughs> Let's go. You look like every person. <laughs> <laughs> you look like every person. At every rave. Even in the darkest rooms. You're that kid that goes to the park for zoots, brings a half of shrooms, a bag of cane, and hardly moves. <laughs> the poster boy. The poster boy for bargain booze. <laughs> party balloons. Because <laughs> Ant's a sad cunt. When he runs out of gear and his dealer isn't answering, bro, him and his boys will blow their noses and rack it back up. <laughs> it's actually fucked. I don't know who you're battling, cuz. You need to battle the demons that keep saying you need another bag of the stuff. Cause you wanna know how I know his drug problem is past the joke. Cause I went to whiz for a cuppa, and instead of sugar, I got a crap of <laughs> Writes his bars on tabs of acid, don't get me started on his knackered nose. Sniff so much, this kid's got fucked, won't even have the bone. It's in tatters, bro, and was, you know. This fiend of a twat couldn't clean up his act with a massive load of acetone. <laughs> Tone because he didn't grab a bag of coke, he'd definitely have a go. <laughs> and you know, want to know how I know that you're battling addiction? Because I wrote all that time ago before I met you, and you said you were battling addiction. <laughs> this battle, you're shitting it. Red stripe and gold leaf, you stink of it. <laughs> but his hands must smell nice though, because he's always sniffing it. <laughs> This round, I finished it. Picture of his star, my guy Trev on the left. We got four me, round number one. Let's go, bro. Oh, Yo, how's it going, Bristol? Yeah. I fucking hate you. <laughs> if we had a fight, I would break you. Hey. Your mum's so fucking ugly. Probably rather date you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Bristol, you ditzy little dickhead. Yeah. yeah, this ain't the first time I've been paid a visit by this kid, Trev. Last time he came up, we got fuck all accomplished because we were supposed to do a face off, but he got drunk, so we flopped it. Yeah. Like, and he seems really nice, I know, but man's an Aggie fella. I witnessed him and my friend nearly fighting over <laughs> half yeah. a can of Stella! <laughs> 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 Oh, this close to banging that guy out. This close, boy. This close. Say it again. Say it again, though. It seems really nice, I know, but man's an Aggie fella. 
I witnessed him and my friend nearly fighting over half a can of Stella. And granted, my mate's a handful, but fuck me, laddie, you flipped. Screaming, you're taking the piss, bro, just give it here! Like a drug fiend after a fit. And I'm from Bristol, bro, so it's not that absurd a sighting. I just didn't have you down as an angry person, Ryan. But I get it, bruv, you're an addict and your stress, it comes from your habits. So after I body you today, we'll get you some crack from Turbo Island. <laughs> and you're from Tamworth, and you know that's tragic. Because we're 20 minutes from my own yard, you can't kick it with those bars, I've got that home advantage. <laughs> but when you said that exact bar to Orwin, your home advantage slowly vanished into smoldered ashes and you froze and panicked. Yeah. Dopey spastic. <laughs> I'm like dynamo with bars, making a fool out of you like all my flows of magic. You're like alcohol in a bar, because whenever you're in the room, you always lower standards. And that's me. Yeah. <laughs>
This guy's been gassing around the globe for 80 straight weeks with his beatboxing shoulders so jarring it's made me hate beats and now I can only listen to Gregorian choral music from the 1880s. <laughs> Just take a break, please, because you do my head in like I accidentally threw bright reds in with my new white bed in. <laughs> you ain't cold, you're washed. I'm 30 degrees C, bro, I'm hot. What went to your mum's for a shag? I went to your mum's for a shag, and she's got the loveliest flat. We had a view of Bristol, while well, we cuddled and laughed. After I piped it, I got that cum guzzling slag to run me a bath. She said I'm like a plumber, so fucking good with my hands. But not Aunt No, he's the clumsiest twat. All the drugs in the past to fuck with Aunt Now, he's a dunce of a man. Stupid as fuck, this cunt is a spaz. He had a Covid test and thought, Ooh, I better study for that. <laughs> Cause yeah, like he said, I beatbox. But you punch up the twats. I'm a good looking chap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beatbox. You punch up the twats. I'm a good looking chap. You're ugly and sad. I've heard stories about you. Down the pub for the match. It was during the England game. In the summer just passed. You're a weirdo, bruv. You ain't one of the lads. Cause when your mate said, come on, England, you spunked on the flag. <laughs> <laughs> How disgusting is that? <laughs> it's not bullshit, it's fact. They're spunking the gaff. Are you gonna believe me? Or some cunt who's called Wass? Cause that's his surname. <laughs> uh, some cunt who's called Wass. But Word Life is the name of his little rap group. You better sack a weather for it. None of you are top in charge. You're off the bar, please make forfeit. <laughs> None of you have got the bars or got the heart. That's why these geeks ain't touring. I'm informed. You ain't informed. That's why your team ain't performing. Cause Ant Wass, you chat gas, you fat twat, I bat slap, you slag nan back to a bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, I will. <laughs> don't act, no, no, don't chat gas, don't act bad, don't act bad cause you've been bunning loads. Ant Wass is just like me. Such a lovely bloke. If he pulls his shank out for the bread, it's just a butter toast. <laughs> And you said in one of your battles against, oh, it was reverse, weren't it? That you hit harder than Nurmagomedov gurning his head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but fuck that. I'll hit this bitch harder than Conor McGregor after a bottle of Stella. So fuck you and all your vintage garms that you've got for a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> So you're chatting about word life, yeah? John Cena ain't the reason that I'm in word life, yeah? <laughs> because I'm respected by my peers. Something you'd know nothing about. And that's probably why you're always on your fucking own busking in town. <laughs> I was advised to keep my angles topical, to show flair. As if that's some sort of massive obstacle, I won't clear. But check it, bro, I'll switch lanes. Your YouTube vids are like episodes of Squid Game. Why? I haven't watched them and I don't care. Yeah. Oh, yeah! How's that for topical, bro? Fair? This Ryan kid, this Ryan kid I don't respect at all. And I want you all to know here, bruv, I'd buy you tickets to a festival if Travis Scott performed a show there. What, too soon? I'm either a topical bastard or a horrible bastard. You choose. Uh, 
Where are you finding these prints? Because when this retard gave me his business card, he said, Check out how shiny it is! Hey, look at it though, it's this! And that rhymes as well! And I'm right, I'll admit, it's quite a nice design, so it's ripped. <laughs> And even as time progresses, it's still something they find impressive, like Brian Blessed climbing Everest. Yeah. <laughs> that actually happened. <laughs> and you're just Ryan Trevis, some slimy, venomous viper, setting his sights on getting them hyper, fresh out the diaper, lend me the time to say that, motherfucker, you are such a toucher. <laughs> and compared to me, you come up short even on tiptoes. You can barely reach my fucking gaunt cheeks or my big lobes. <laughs> let alone the sick clothes, let alone the bars. So when this beef is done, I'll be letting out an ah, like Formie's plug-in Bisto. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're talented but lack drive to score a fucking win though. You cannot simply act hype when all you come with is kid jokes. I've got to hand it to the man. Right, you bought some funny shit, bro, but you're still amateur on cam like the Always Sunny intro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Go, give it up, give it up, give it up! <laughs>